In this video, I'm going to talk about being authentic, what it is to be authentic, how being authentic can bring us lasting joy and contentment in life, and above all, give us our share of the enlightenment we deserve. The goal of life. What is the goal in life? So much of our emptiness in life is to figure out what is the goal of life? Why are we even here? There's so much reason to think that the goal of life is to survive. Now, this is obvious. This is the baseline of what the goal in life is, is to survive. We have to figure out a way to take care of ourselves, to feed ourselves, to shelter ourselves, to get beyond uh, the grasp and the reach of our parents and become individuals that are able to survive in society. Now, many folks stop there. They think that, oh, I'm surviving now. I'm, I'm, this is my whole thing. And then from there, they start to accumulate things. As they get, you know, this is a real easy way to get caught up in thinking that you've made it in life. I'm able to accumulate things and now I am successful. And society will back this up. So much of what is considered successful in this life in the modern era is to have a bunch of things. If you have a bunch of things and an attractive mate and a good job, then you're in a success in life. And, and perhaps this is fine. Perhaps this is all that you want out of life and that there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel the goal in life is to be authentic to be authentically who you are. Now, there's several steps to this. To begin with, we have to get beyond the conditioning of our parents, the conditioning of our social standings, the conditioning of our education in many ways, and the conditioning of our of our racial background, of our cultural background, because all of these factors of conditioning, social conditioning, keep us from being authentically who we are. Now, that's not to say that we're going to be completely outside of these things, because the social conditioning that we have it's, it's a paradox because we need to get beyond it in our minds so that we're comfortable within it. To get beyond conditioning doesn't mean that you're going to become something entirely different. It means that you're comfortable in it enough to start to discover who you really are. And this self-discovery will lead to an authenticity that allows you to to grow into who you are in a way that you will make your own mistakes. That the mistakes that you will make will be the kind that involve your growth, not just the growth of the things that you were taught. In other words, you won't become a replica of your family you won't become this perfect citizen that's making the mistakes that you're supposed to make within your society. The mistakes that you will make will be tied to your own personal growth and create an environment. The mistakes that you make will create an environment for self-discovery. Now, the next thing we have to do is, well, what is the self? If the self is not the adornment of things that you've bought, if it's not the social standings that you've acquired, if the self is not who you, the, what you inherited, you know, like this body, you know, because it, how can it be this body? The body is temporary. Now, I'm making an assumption here and I'm making a big leap in, in, a, in a kind of a knowing that we are more than just the body. Now, if you want to believe that you're just the body, that certainly makes all this easier. And I'm not making the leap of faith that I understand what I am beyond this body. And perhaps when this body dies, that's the end of it. And I'm totally good with that. However, to be, I feel that to be authentic, we must assume 
that we are the consciousness that inhabits this body. The spiritual, and spirit is a very odd word. I'm, I'm not that comfortable with that word. So let's just use the word consciousness. That which is peering out of your eyes, that is what we actually authentically are. Now, the limitations of this body, that, that, is, that is a parameter of, of where we can go as far as expressing ourselves physically. But we can express ourselves in an authentic way internally, and that is huge. That's vastly different than what we're capable of, how we're capable to express ourselves in a physical way. The ego has a very limited range of, of movement in reality. The ego is only able to, to survive. It's what survives in this world is how we feed ourselves. It's, it's all those things we were just speaking of as far as conditioning goes. That conditioning is our ego. Now, that ego is certainly temporary. When this body is no longer operating and we're, we're, moved, we we're forced to leave, this ego that is identified with this body, it will certainly die. There's no doubt about this. I am never going to be Professor Chi again. I am Professor Chi now. That's my alter ego. I am a wayfarer in this world. I'm just moving through it. But that which is moving through it is the, what I'm talking about. That is the authentic self. The authentic self that is aware of this moment. And it is energy. This energy is certainly eternal. That is a fact. We know that energy is indestructible. It's not this body, but we cannot possibly be just this body. The, there's a difference between a corpse and a living human being. And all, and if you've ever watched an animal die or another human being die, there's a moment when they're looking at you through their eyes, right? They're aware of you and you're aware of them. And then suddenly the eyes go blank. Suddenly there's no longer anything looking through those eyes at you. That which just left, that is our authentic self. Now this energy is consciousness. Now, I'm not going to try to describe what consciousness is because I'm not sure what consciousness is. I know when I'm conscious. I understand when ideas come to me, those ideas, that inspiration is who I am. Now, is it mine? No, it's moving along. And this is where authenticity comes from. Because to be authentically ourself, we have to understand that there's a certain amount of flow to it. Now, I am not the same person that was a seven-year-old boy. Yet, I am. I am the same consciousness that was a seven-year-old boy. But that seven-year-old boy is now 62. So, the parameters of my limitation are very different than when I was seven. You were seven years old at one time as well. And yet you're the same person. So it's similar to that. That which we are, the authentic self, the consciousness, the energetic consciousness that is aware, that is a, an open awareness, that is the same. That is the authentic self. To come in contact with this authentic self is to become self-realized or on the road to self-realization, let's say. And this is what's important in life, is to find out who you really are, your authentic self, <clears throat> the one that was at one time seven and is now however old you are now. The one that used to have to depend completely on mom for nourishment and now you can take care of yourself. This same being, this open awareness is very adaptable. It's adapting to this body and this world, and it will move beyond this body and this world, and I suspect it will continue to adapt. And we will be openly aware in some other form. 
Now, does that mean we're just this still the same being? I am not sure, nor do I care. But I feel that for us to feel comfortable, truly comfortable in life, to where we're able to be happy in the moment, to have no fear of the future, to be able to feel comfortable with what's happened in the past and the past mistakes and the learning curve that we're on, how, the, how life just keeps going and this trajectory that we call us and our life, we must come in contact with who we are authentically. To be who you are, to be truly authentic, is to be enlightened. Now, it's not the kind of enlightenment that, that, that is like Jesus or the Buddha. You know, it's your authentic enlightenment. You can embody all of the light that is coming to you right here and right now by being who you really are. By not pretending that you're somebody else. By not, pre not, by not standing in the shadow of your achievement. By not relying on your social status. By not pretending that you're more than you are for the sake of others. You know, to, to look better in other people's eyes. To just be who you are right here, right now. To be the authentic self is a way to be excited about life because it's not relying on others. You don't have to worry about the past. You don't have to look back as what you were. You don't have to, to project forward to what you will be. You just are right here, right now. This is the authentic self, and it's the, the wayfarer. It's the one that's moving through time and will eventually move into the timelessness. This self, this authentic self, is what is worthwhile to achieve in this life because it's available to you. This does not preclude all the other things. Your achievements, your, your attainments in life, your social standing, and all these great things that you've achieved in life, these are fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But find some time to become internal enough to look deeply at the self that is not changing, that the self is that the self that's the same authentic self that was the little kid that will become the old person. This authentic self is who you are. Become acquainted with this to the point where you feel comfortable to be who you are, where you don't feel the need to put on a false face and a mask for other people where you don't, no, you don't need to be offensive around it, but you feel comfortable enough to be who you are around others. This is a great relief. And it's the, it's, it's what it's all about is to be who you really are, to be authentically joyful, this ever new joy, this evervescence that, 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 that wakes up every day and goes to sleep every night and is aware of your life. This awareness, this open awareness, that which is aware of what you call your life is what you really are. You actually are not your life. You're the awareness of your life. You're not your body. You're that, you are that which is aware of your body. And you're aware of you being you.